As you continue working through this module, you're going to build an example app from the data we gave you. We're going to customize the app and then you'll learn more about Power Apps along the way. So the idea through the module is we're going to guide you through the whole process of customizing an app. And what we want to do here is just walk you through for a moment what is that app going to look like, talk a little bit about how the app works. And then from there, we're going to switch gears and talk about our data source and how to structure it properly. So not only can you follow along with the labs, but you also have some better context if you want to customize or build your own app based on these same concepts, but using your data instead of the example data we provide. Here we have the flooring app, and you can see that the app is already generated for us. And so this right here is a gallery that's showing us our table of data that came from the records that we gave it. And so we can scroll through that easily and see all the different types of flooring. We go in here and be like, all right, this Victoria Mahogany, that looks real nice. So we're going to click on the item details, and this takes us to another screen that presents us with the additional details about that record that we've pulled in from our data source. So you can see the image, the categorization, the name, the overview, and the price. Oh, but the price is $4.59. Our prices have increased, so I need to edit this data. I can use this edit pencil up here at the top. This will take us to an edit screen, and now you can see that I have the ability to customize, and so I can be like, all right, well, the price is now at $4.59. It is now $4.79. We do the change, and then we hit save. This will save back to our data source instantly, so now our data source has been updated, and we're right back in the app where we can continue to review the other ones. This is a great app because it gets you started with some of the key concepts you're going to build into your own apps, and this is what we're going to walk you through in the course. But that's enough about this. Let's then talk a little bit about the example data we're going to use. So we'll minimize the app. And so this is the Excel spreadsheet that is provided to you as a download. And so this Excel spreadsheet has got some different columns. There's a name, the category, the price, the color, the overview. So all the information we just saw in the app, you can see that it's really just came out of an Excel spreadsheet. Now, what's really important to understand though, is you start to look at these Excel spreadsheets and maybe you're going to build your own Excel spreadsheet to do these types of examples. One of the key things to understand is that your data has to be inside of a table. And not only does your data have to be inside of a table, your data also is going to need to be just values. So you can't have formulas or such in here. These, all these fields are just individual entries of the information. Another thing that's important to understand is that after you have your app built using this as your data source, then what's going to happen is it's going to add another column over here called Power Apps ID, and that will be the primary key that Power Apps uses. Don't mess with that data, don't change it, don't modify it, don't delete that column. Power Apps puts it there and it uses that to allow it to edit and work with the different records as you're using your app. So that's very important. But let's switch over to a new Excel spreadsheet and just talk about if you want to build your own. Minimize that. And so here you can see I've got some part data and it's just some data you know in rows and columns that I've typed in. So the first thing I want to do is convert this to a table. So I can just select all this data and I can use the format as table option and then choose one of these fabulous looks. That looks nice. And then I get to choose does it have headers or not. And if you do not have headers that's okay. It'll put headers in there but then they'll be named things like column one, two, and three and you don't want that. So you probably want to put your headers in make it easier. Say okay. And so then now this is a table. And now that it's a table we could use this. Uh, we can save this Excel file and into our OneDrive for Business, and then we could build our app from this data. Now, keep in mind up here at the top when I created the table, it gave it a table name. You can change this to another name, but if you if you don't, this is the name that you'll need to reference inside the app when you're building it. Now, what if you go over here to Sheet 2 and you have a little bit more complex data? You know, these are just normal columns, but this column is a calculated column, B2 times C2. So this will not work if you were to turn this into a table because it can't use a column that has a formula in it. But that's okay. All is not lost. What we can do is I can copy the data. So I'm going to highlight it all. I'm going to right click and say copy. Make ourselves a whole new sheet. And then we're going to right click here. And instead of normal paste, we're going to paste the values. Now what will happen is if you click on this field, it is just 1239. It is no longer the formula. And if you want to do that calculation going forward, what you would do is you do the calculations in your Power App and then just write the calculated value instead of using Excel this way. Now a couple other things to consider with Excel as your data source because it's a great data source if you're building apps to learn, right? That's why we use it here. It's a great one. It's easy. It's flexible. But there's some challenges with it for production apps. And so one of them is, is you have to save this Excel file to your OneDrive for business and so then you'd have to share that with any user you want to use the app so that they could interact with the data source. So that's one challenge. Another challenge is that only one person can have it open at a time. So if you had it open in Excel then no one can use your app or if someone has it open in the app they can't use it in Excel. So keep that in mind. Excel is great for you learning all the concepts but as you start to build those production apps you're going to want to look at other data sources maybe like SharePoint list, the common data service, Azure SQL or any other data source that has a little more robust 
test capabilities. And with that, I think you know everything you need to continue following along in the module, and we'll walk you through step by step building the app using this data so that you guys can learn and explore Power Apps and become more familiar with everything it has to offer.